we have some figures here, one, two, three, and four. And we can clearly see that in this figure, this line, let's say this is line L and this is line M. So line L and line M, these two lines cross each other at one common point. That's this one. Let's say it's point O. So this point where these two lines are crossing each other is called point of intersection. Point of intersection. And at this point of intersection, these two lines are crossing each other and these two lines are therefore called intersecting lines. Okay. In this one, let's say this is line L and this is line M. Even in this case, this line M and this line L are crossing each other at this point. Let's say even this one is also O. If you represent this point O, then this point O is the point of intersection. And at this point of intersection, these two lines are intersecting each other. Therefore, these are also intersecting lines. What about this figure? Let's say this is line P, Q, and R. P, Q, and R. So these three lines, we can see that this line P and this line Q, these two lines are intersecting at this point, right? Let's name it uh, what? Vertex A. This line Sorry, we have not this one, but this should be R. This should be R because it's already P. So in this one, we have this line as Q, this line as R. So this point is a point of intersection for these two lines. Let's name it as B. And let's say for this line P, and this line R, this is the point of intersection for these two lines and let's name it C. So A is a point of intersection of two intersecting lines, line P and line Q. B is a point of intersection of two lines, line R and line Q. C is a point of intersection of two lines, that is R and line P. Similarly, in this case, you can see here, Let's name it these lines at, as P, this one as Q, this one as R, and this one as S. P line, Q line, R line, and S line, we have four lines. Now, the R line and the P line, these two lines are intersecting at this point, name it as A. A is a point of intersection of P and R. This point is the point of intersection of this line R and this line Q. So name it as B, name it as B. This is a point of intersection of S and Q, name it as C. This is a point of intersection of S and P, name it as D. So the point is that in this case, we have four point of intersection, but four different point of intersections for four different lines. The point is that the point of intersection, like in this case, in this case, in this case, and in, in this figure, the point of intersection, the point of intersection always lies on both the lines. Since they are crossing at the point of intersection, therefore this point of intersection belongs to both the lines. That is, it will lie on both the lines. Point number two, that if two lines are intersecting, there will always be only one point of intersection between two intersecting lines. Again, between two intersecting lines, there will only be one point of intersection. There can't be more than one point of intersection, right? So this, these are the two points. Now, 
focus on this line this line let's say this line is a this line is b c and d and this one is e focus on this line a this line a is being intersected by other four lines by line b by line c by line d and by line e at the same common point of intersection so what's the point two lines when they are intersecting will have only one point of intersection but from the same point of intersection many lines can pass right so this is the point of intersection which is common for line a and line e right line a and line b line a and line c line a and line d and there can be many and many as many as possible uh, lines possible from this point of intersection okay so this is the point and the third point is perpendicular lines if you have two lines if you have two lines and they are intersecting each other in a way that they are forming 90 degree or right angle with each other then they are perpendicular lines if I take this line as L and is it a straight so if this line is L and let's say we have another line as this one this line is M line L and line M are intersecting at right angles a right angle therefore all these four angles will be equal to 90 degree if this is the case then these two intersecting lines are perpendicular lines because at the point of intersection they will form right angle with each other so this was about intersecting lines